Hi and welcome to Hot Pot, one of our first video guides on giving you some inspiration for colour in your home. What I'd like to do and show you this morning is just a simple tool, a couple of things on the internet you can use. If you want to get some ideas and inspiration for colouring your room, if you're going to redecorate your house and you've got some ideas for colours, that's great. We can get you started with that so you can have a look at what your room would look like. And then if you've not got a clue, um, some kind of inspirations that you can use and we'll show you one of those as well. So the first tool I want to show you is something called Sumo Paint and the reason why I've shown you this one is it's at sumopaint.com and then you just launch the app for free to use it on the internet. And the reason why I'm going to go with this is because there's quite a few room designer apps that you can get for an iPad or your iPhone or for home. So there are other options out there for you, for example, that you can use different tools like Dulux have their own, Plascon have, there's different people have their own room color designer. But generally speaking, the problem with those is then you're restricted to using that company's paint color. And when you're first starting and coming up with ideas that you perhaps then want to take along to a shop to say that this is the kind of thing I'd rather have, and then to give you more variety of different paint manufacturers, using a tool like this one means you're not tied to someone else's color palette. So it's, it's not the most amazing tool to use, but it's very simple to use and it will help you just to get some inspiration. Now I've gone a bit wild here just to show you the first example. What I recommend you do is when you upload a photo of your room from your home, is to empty the room, have a room that's empty because it's gonna be much easier to do the color then that way than if you've got to try and work around furniture and different things that are in the way. So it's always better to empty the room, take a photograph when it's empty. Better still, when you first move into your house, next time you move, take a lot of photos of each room of the property before you move in and then just keep them. And if ever in the future you want to decorate, uh, you can go back to your empty canvas and not have to worry about emptying a room to do what we're gonna do here today. So as you can see here, we've got a bit of some different color designs here going on just to really brighten up this room. You can see it makes a big difference. And the way that you do this is you just literally, I'm gonna close this one off. So you open up your room and you just go to file, open from my computer, and then you open up your image that you've saved to your computer of your room. Now here I've got a second one. And then you left click on your mouse and hold and drag here and that then makes it bigger. If you then hold down the control key and hit the plus on your computer, you enlarge the picture. Now it's going to pixelate it slightly if you haven't got a really high quality image. This is a very small image that I'm working with. Usually on today's cameras, you'll have a much bigger image so the quality will look much better. And the better quality image that you use, it's easy because you won't get all these like pixelated things here when you start filling in colors. So it's actually better to start with a better quality picture, but I wanted to show you that ultimately it will work without it. So if you know the colors you already want, there's a couple of ways you can do it. If you go, for example, I'm gonna look at a Plascon color just for a moment. If you were gonna go with a Plascon color and you know that you wanted Stone Garden, for example, then you can go into your search engine using Google, type in Plascon Paint Stone Garden, and then you want to look for this one here, uh, um, which is Encyclopedia. And if you click and open this page, they'll actually give you the hex code format for this particular Plascon color. So if we highlight it, we don't need to take the little hash here, right click and copy. Then we go to our paint program and then we click the image and down the bottom here, you'll see it's highlighted already as a hex color. If you right click and paste, just hit enter, you've now got the Plascon color in our case or the particular color that you found. Now in some circumstances, you'll search for color and you won't find it. So the best thing then to do is to actually go into Google Images and type the color you want. So we want the Plascon paint, the color white rhino. And you'll see like a color chart here that's come up and it's got white rhino on it. If I click it, you'll see it's here. So all you do is you right click, you save image as, save it to your file or your computer where you're doing your rooms and just rename it. I've put here rhino. And then you've got a color palette then. And the way you then use it in Sumo Paint is you go to file, open from my computer, open the file, 
And now what you've got is these images. You've even got the others on that color palette as well. So what we could do is if you're going to take two up to match with this one, we left click, we go to the eyedropper tool and we pick a color. If you want to change that, let's go back here. Let's have the turn it around because this is the color you're always going to change. So we want this one here to be this color. And then I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to go back and get my X color that we had a minute ago. And I'm going to click on the other one that I wanted to color. There we go. So now we've got our two colors and then we start decorating the room and the way to do it. So the best one to do is get our line tool here and then make this uh, around five pixels and then just left click and drag your mouse the color to the edge left click come down to the edge and let go of your mouse left click and drag and color with your mouse then we go to the paint bucket tool and we fill in the colors and the reason why we did that line to begin with is if we didn't, then it will start to go outside of this line. And then any last bits, if it's going to start going up above here, so if we click this and you find it does that, just go edit, undo, and then get your brush tool, and then just fill in the colors here. Finish painting with the paintbrush. There we go, we've just painted our first room. Now we want to paint the other colour. So now we switch it around, take the line tool and again we click and we drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag and then we, we come to our bucket tool again and we start filling in the color. We're just left clicking with the mouse here to fill it in. And if you've got any holes that you want to fill in later, you can come back again, get the brush. Just left click and hold the mouse while you paint. Just color it in. And there we have our new room. So this was what our room looked like before on the right hand side here, over here. This is what our room looked like. And this is what it looks like now. So now we've got some idea of what our room would like if we were to change the color using these particular colors. And you can do this with any color you like. So if you've been into a store and there's a particular Dulux color you like, or Riordan, or Excelsior, any of the color paints, anything that you like, then you can search for it. You can either save it as an image like we did here, or you can search and look for the Encycler Colorpedia, Encycler Colorpedia difficult to say inside Colorpedia <laughs> you can look for the hex file and then change that in sumo paint so that's how simple it is to just get your room of your house remember take photos when you first move in that's the top tip of this video so that you've got them for future reference if you've already moved in I'm sorry but on this occasion then it's gonna be difficult but you're gonna have to empty the room first because it's much easier then to get an idea of color schemes um, and then you can have a look at what the room looks like color wise that's your particular room of course you don't even have to use you can go on the internet the other option is to go go to web images and say for example you're painting a child's bedroom if you just put empty child's bedroom and always choose the word empty you'll generally find then by looking around your start to see sample bedrooms and you even might get some nice colors that you think oh actually I like the look of that or I like the look of that and I want to use it and then just copy and save now obviously you can't use this for commercial use because these are other people's images but you can just copy it to your computer just to get an idea and then import it and start painting away and thinking okay that's the color scheme I like and then you can come along to us at Hot Pot Paint give us the colors that you found that you like and then we'll help you from there and in another video I'm going to show you a tool that Plascon has we're gonna have a look at that in another video where you can see if you've got no idea what you want to do what colors you'd like to do at the moment you can take inspiration from other photos using one of Plascon's cool tools on the website and I'll show you that in the next video thanks for watching